still gotta get used to that. But it is temporary. It is not forever. I actually got a decent amount of sleep last night. I should be okay. I think the fact that I haven't been sleeping normal is still gonna affect me, affect me in some way. I need to get you guys some more products. Oh my God. Well, I need to edit yesterday's vlog. I also need to do some work for the wrap shop. Looks like I need to restock on some orders. You guys have been killing it with the orders. Everything is pretty much sold out at this point. Um, if you guys want anything, check the risenracingteam.com. I need to change that domain, but that the link is in the description for now so you guys can pick something up and I can ship it out to you guys instantly. Uh, now that I have everything organized and set up, but new video is uploading. Currently making myself some breakfast and lunch. These are the Starbucks egg bites. If you guys have a Costco membership, this shit is is the shit right here. Very efficient if you have an air fryer, but um, <laughs> you got to make it look like you're working. She is working. Speaking of selling, you want to tell them how back and forth I've been. Dude, you drive me nuts, dude. One day is one thing, the other day is another thing, and then I come here, it's like, I know what I'm doing, and then two days later, this oh time, yeah, never mind that. This time's fine, this time is final, I swear. You you speak for the people, for real. I speak for the trees. You speak for everybody. I'm gonna pull in uh, my car here, and we'll go ahead and talk about the whole game plan and everything, like, what the final verdict is. Hey, you're gonna hear me talking to myself for a little bit. Finally time to discuss the plan. This week has been a real roller coaster of sell car, don't sell car, what am I gonna do? And I think most of you guys know what the answer is. I think you guys have figured out that we are not going to be selling the 22 BRZ. And that is because we found a way to get our Dream S15 and make this car something that I enjoy more than what it is now without having to sell it. So. This all comes with the sacrifice and all that, but first, let's go over the plan with this car. What do we plan to do to this car to make me enjoy this car more, to make this more of a street car? Now, the most interesting thing about the 22 BRZ is that they're being recognized as very track capable cars that have God tier handling from factory, and it's my fault that the car is stupidly wide with three piece wheels and bags and slow, and, and that's just, that's the approach I took with this car was show route because I was trying to build a audience and that is not an issue at all. I, I, would, I would do this process over again. I have no regrets. I brought in an audience by building a car that catches a lot of attention. But now that you guys are here, I am ready to build the car how I want to build it. And the issue was I didn't think I could do it with this car because it's already cut up and, and all show ready. Um, but that is not the case. What I've come to realize in yesterday's video, all the parts that are on this car, I can sell and convert this car into the street car that I really want to build. And um, that's the plan. So what we're gonna be doing with this car is doing pretty much a full transformation, turning this into a more fun car. And I'm gonna be able to do that by selling stuff. As you guys saw in yesterday's video, we sold the wing already. And the next we're gonna be putting this car on coilovers with my favorite brand, BC. So we're gonna put this car on some BC coils and then sell the bags. And then next, we are going to be ordering something pretty crazy. And that is going to be working with JDL on their JDL turbo kit. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this kit, but it's pretty much plug and play. The hardest part for people right now is finding a tuner. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube or on the forums run this kit successfully yet or run it at all. I haven't seen anybody bolt it on yet. I know a good amount of people ordered them, but I don't know how many people actually did it. So in the next few days here, I plan to order that turbo kit with them, work with JDL and get it on the car. And then my buddy Corbin is a tuner for the, all the first gen BRZs and he creates a lot of products for the first gen BRZs that are really cool. So he's gonna be working with us to tune the second gen 
first we're going to try and tune this, get some power out of it the way it is now, and then we are going to put the turbo on and tune it from there. So that'll be super exciting to have a turbo kit on the 22 BRZ. And I, I know I mentioned I didn't want to drop four or five K on this car when I could spend it on an S15, um, but things are different because I'm able to partner with them and I'm going to be able to get a kit for this car that makes it to where the powers match the looks. So this kit is to me is a great show car kit. It's even functional. They did air tunnel tests with this. Uh, you know, it's very aggressive. If, if it comes down to it, we uh, might just keep this kit, but um, I am working on getting into contact with the Street Hunter kit. We saw a lot of those wide bodies at SEMA and it just seems so much more functional because it's a full replacement front end fenders and bumper and then the rears come reverse riveted and it's, it's wide but it doesn't look as wide so I'm able to put a more functional wheel setup in there and we'll have coilovers so I might go with something like work wheels or Advan GTs or TEs or I don't know. I don't know what the plan on wheels are yet but I know we are gunning for the Street Hunter kit, the turbo kit, and then we're going to rewrap the whole car, my favorite color for a street car, and that is satin gray. So yeah, with some boost, some rewrap, um, probably gonna take off the chrome tint because that's show car as well. Coilovers and wheels and all that good stuff. Uh, this car is going to transform in drivability and looks because it will look a lot more street functionable. I also want to go with a half roll cage from Studio RSR in the back and a seatbelt harness. I know I was talking to them about that not too long ago during SEMA time. So we're, we're leaving the show car route and we're still keeping the car. There's definitely things I can do. So pretty excited, you know, the, the idea that I'm excited about this car again just gets me pumped up again. Um, it's definitely it's definitely a beautiful car, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm super happy how we approached it. It's just now we have the opportunity to go to another version of it that I will love even more. And I couldn't have just done that version at the beginning, like some of you guys would think, um, because I didn't have my name out there as much as I do now with how this car brought me up into the scene. Uh, if I didn't do it this way, I wouldn't be able to reach out to the sponsors that we're about to work with for version four of this car, I think. I don't know if you guys have seen the Street Hunter kit, but it's a whole front end replacement, and then it's got the rear wide body is reverse hardware. This is this is uh, exciting. I, I've spent the last couple days that, that Alyssa will tell you, or my friends, or some people around me, just going back and forth about selling the car and just hating myself for it. But that does pose the question, what's going to happen to the race car. It just makes the most sense to sell this one instead of the other one, since we're gonna be able to boost that one and make it drive like a perfect street car. The plan with this car was to track it, but even if we did all the upgrades and stuff, I still feel like it's a pretty sketchy car. Um, but if we keep it as a drift car and just build it and finish the build here for the YouTube channel uh, with all the parts we already have for it, then we can sell it as a drift car because that's what it is. So really what's left for this car is to get Abraham to fix it up, wrap it, throw the coilovers on, and put the headlights and taillights on, and then list this car for sale. Because once it's done, there's not really much more I need to do to it, you know? I will, I will be able to track my 22 BRZ when we're done with what we're going to be doing to it. I will be able to order an S15 down the line and have a, another project to build. So this is probably the best of both worlds option here to keep this car. I can track it, street it, show it. I'm going to build this exactly how I want, make it perfect. Um, and like I said, when I say track, it's not aggressive tracking, just something I can take to the track for a day or two in the year. So sacrifice, bye bye race car. But you guys, that, that car's not going anywhere for another month or two. I still have a lot of videos to make with it and then we'll be letting it go. I have some work to do here today. I just wanted to address that with you guys before we uh, went on with our video. All right, so this is Jack's STI. He dropped off a front lip and a splitter for us to install for him. I'm gonna knock this out really quick and then call it a day for me at the shop because I've already done a good amount of hours of editing and working on the phone. So um, let's get to it real quick. It 
It is the next day. It was only a couple hour project. I just split it up into two days, but it is all done. And uh, this was a good talk about the future of the 22 BRZ. Now, um, as of right now, uh, hey Paul, as of right now, we don't know what the plan is with the body kit because Street Hunter has not responded yet, but we will be doing the turbo kit in time for Gatlinburg for sure. But as for the Street Hunter kit, we don't know. Um, we're gonna aim and try and get it done, but if not, we'll just do it after and make the Adro kit look good for, um, for Gat. But to be honest, the Agile kit still looks really good. Um, so we're just gonna probably try and make it look really good for GAT and then do the turbo kit. But um, yeah, I'm, every time I look at the Agile kit, I kind of ponder if I can make it more of a functional kit um, with better tires, tires, coils, and maybe changing up the wheels a little bit and some suspension upgrades. But We'll have to see. Um, as of right now, I know I want the Street Hunter kit, but I, I, as you guys know, I'm indecisive. But what's guaranteed is that we are keeping the car and we are going to boost it. But that's pretty much it for today. Um, that's all I have for you guys. That's, you know, I hope that's exciting news to you guys that we're doing more with the car. Um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to never stop dreaming.